hey guys yeah welcome back so firstly i'm going to turn on a feature like this then i'll move down to the virtual machine platform i'll turn it on then i'll select ok in your case your pc is going to restart so you have to let it restart then after the restart you move to the next step i open my chrome browser for the subsystem the subsystem allows play store to work on windows 11 there is also windows 10 version i haven't tried that don't burn your pc so i have i'm using windows 11 so i'll download the latest table version then i'll scroll down to check the latest version which is this one here on top the 4.000.40 yeah so i'll download it i have the file already so i don't need to redownload again yeah after downloading the file you open the folder where it is so you need to extract it to the local disk right here i'm going to paste the wsa archive here so continue then you paste it right here the next step i'm going to delete the previous one i have there before i have one over there before so i just have to delete it then i will extract this right here i will extract it on the local disk before doing that i have to disable my window security i don't know i'm not sure it's going to disturb it but just to be safe so you won't just lose the files like that so just go to your windows security virus and open windows security then you manage the settings and turn it off After turning it off, you proceed to your extraction. So I'm going to extract all right here. It might be slow, it depends on how fast your PC is because the file is 2.26 gig. So after the folder extraction is done, open the extracted file it's going to be down here then bring the particular folder of the WSA cut it out of the folder it is bring it out to the main local disk so you paste it here after pasting it you just open the folder this is empty so you delete the previous one that is empty After deleting that, open the main WSA folder. You see a particular file with run.pat, this one. So you run it as administrator. This is going to do all the job. So just run it once. Then it's going to install Play Store directly on your PC. As you can see, it's installing. It's installing. So after that you receive this pop-up it might be like four or five just disable everything only one is needed then close the particular installation stuff that you opened then this is the subsystem right here so you move to your settings on the top left corner advanced settings then you turn on developer mode then the memory and performance you put it on continuous so it will be running every time you turn on your pc at the background so after that you select these files over here to open the file explorer so once the file explorer is open you can now move to your windows then check play store the play store will be there automatically just close the file or minimize it then open here on your 
and your play store should be on the recommended but for me i've installed this before so i'll just move to my all app section then i'll scroll down to where i have play store this is it so i'll open my play store then just wait it's open so once i open my play store you sign in your google account so i'll sign in right now yeah this is it so just input your email then sign in yeah i've signed in mine so agree then it's going to get the account information then set up everything and you are ready to use play store yeah it's here already so right now you can just search for any android application you can use play store freely without emulator so i'm going to be searching for pixel lab <laughs> So after searching for Pixel Lab, it's going to bring it up here. Then I will install it directly. Once the installation is done, then you're going to have access to the open button. So just open it right there and you have pixel lab ready on your pc yeah so that's just it you can play around with it check it out it's easy not stressful at all so that's how you can get pixel lab on your windows 11 thanks for watching guys have a nice day bye bye